Hi everyone. So in this video, I am continuing the data objects which we have discussed in the which we have started in the previous video. So data object is nothing but it is an object which holds the value of a specified type. Type may be integer or a float or any type. So here there are four different types of uh, classes we have in the data objects: constant, variable, signal, and file. So regarding constant and variable, we have discussed in the previous video and along with its uh, examples. Now we are going to see signal. So signal is nothing but third one, signal. So what do you mean by signal? Signal an object belonging to it is an object belonging to the signal class belonging to the signal class so what it will do it holds a list of values it holds a list of values which include the current value of the signal which include the current value current value of the signal and a set of possible future values and a set of possible future values that are to appear on the signal that are to appear on the signal so what do you mean by this See, an object belonging to the signal class. What do you mean by signal? Signal is belonging to a signal class. What it will do? It will hold a list of values. It holds a list of values. List of values like your range. Okay, like your range. So, suppose I am treating, I am taking S as a signal. So, that S may have multiple values. Which include current value. Nothing but during that time, what is the present value on that signal that it holds along with the future values along with the future values most of the times signals are commonly preferred in the intermediate communication suppose i am having uh, one or gate like this the output of this or gate is given to another gate like and gate and this is a b c and this is the output y so when you are writing a structural program you have to write one program for r gate and one program for and gate and when you are concatenating these two programs in the main program of the structural code you have to instantiate the uh, and gate and r gate as the components so once this instantiation is completed you need to port map the and gate output r gate output to and gate so when you are port mapping you must have some intermediate signal here okay so and gate what is the input of the and gate what is the what are the inputs of the and gate one is we can say directly c another one is output of r gate which has to be represented as an intermediate signal x so here in this case x is in this case x is an intermediate signal x is an intermediate signal intermediate signal okay in that case it has to be represented as a signal suppose if multiple signals are there multiple signals are there then x can be treated as a range bit vector bit vector so it holds the present value as well as the future value depending on the input value c and b okay so the syntax example representation we will see now so example of signal declaration is c signal some clock a bit nothing but it's a single bit either 0 or 1 signal another example signal data bus data bus bus means it's a group of bits 
bit vector bit vector we can write it as std underscore logic underscore vector bit vector of 0 to 7 bit vector of 0 to 7 or any time also we can represent signal gate delay in terms of gilly also we can mention gate delay i told you already time in the previous video i told you time is nothing but a type data type is equal to 10 nanosecond this is fixed representation and we have multiple we have multiple representations of the signal so this is one we have seen second third and another example like a signal signal init underscore p colon c std underscore logic underscore vector vector of 7 down to 0 7 down to 0 or 0 to 7 you can represent like this both are valid colon is equal to 0 gives 0 implies 1 0 implies bit 1 others others implies u u is nothing but undefined okay so init underscore p is a object data object that will give you the output 1 output 1 if the value is in between 0 to 7 otherwise it is treated as undefined okay so these are the different representation formats of the signal declarations coming to the fourth one see fourth one is file fourth one is nothing but file so as name says that it is a file to read and to first you need to take the file you need to open the file and read okay so for reading or writing operations definitely you should open the file first so here file is nothing but an object belonging to file class an object belongs to file class an object belongs to file class so it contains sequence of values it contains it contains sequence of values it contains sequence of values so values can be read or written to the file using read procedures and write procedures respectively values can be read or written read or written to the file written to the file using using read procedures using read procedures and write procedures using read procedures and write procedures respectively okay so that means we have a file something word document or any type of text document that has to be that has to be opened first and then we may go for the read operation and write operation okay so the declaration of this file a file declaration i am going to say now a file is declared using using a file declaration using a file declaration so syntax of this file declaration is syntax of the file declaration is see here file file name file file name file file name file underscore type underscore name next you need to write the mode for which you are going to do is it open mode or close mode open mode open mode is string expression is string underscore expression okay 
so the string expression is here interpreted by the host environment as physical name of a file string expression is nothing but here here string expression is interpreted is interpreted by the host environment by the host environment as a physical name as a physical name as a physical name of a file of a file so the mode specifies whether the file is to be used to read only or write only okay so the mode specifies here which mode it is now open mode open mode means here here it is uh, uh, written or here it is for writing or reading okay or it may be in the appended mode so mode may be mode may be read mode write mode or it may be append mode append mode is to nothing but to join with other file to join with other file so these are the different file declarations and uh, this is the syntax of the file declaration okay thank you